Hello, a very good afternoon to everyone. I am Rajendra Kumar, a senior officer in the Indian Administrative Service, and I am currently working as a director in the Department of Information Technology in the Government of India in New Delhi. I am very thankful to the organizers of this workshop, in particular to Dennis Pamlin, for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. I would talk about the need for transformative solutions in the context of promoting resource efficiency and low carbon development in public procurement in India. As we all know, India is the second fastest growing economy in the world among the major countries. Economic growth rates have averaged over 7.5% during the last decade. The total GDP as of 2010 stands at over 1.72 trillion US dollars. The GDP per capita is however only US dollars 1340 and in terms of PPP dollars it is 3560. Public procurement in India constitutes about 30% of the GDP, the federal and state governments and public, center, public sector undertakings have their own procurement procedures broadly in conformity with the federal or state rules. At the federal level, procurement is done by individual government departments and agencies. The broad control and oversight on the procurement process is exercised by the Controller and Auditor General of India and the Central Vigilance Commission. However, there is no single authority for defining the procurement policies and overseeing compliance. There is a huge potential in India for transformative solutions for promoting resource efficiency and low carbon technologies for sustainable development. However, there is no overall framework for promoting such transformative solutions. Current procurement policies are not aimed at promoting innovative and transformative solutions. There are several barriers to promoting innovative and transformative solutions in public procurement in India. The procurement currently is generally based on the lowest price that is L1 after the minimum specified qualifications are met. There is no legislation or policy on resource efficient and low carbon technology based procurement. The market for resource efficient and low carbon technology based products is relatively small in India currently and it is also characterized by the absence of adequate number of private sector players in this field. There is also the problem of lack of awareness among government departments and agencies. There is no champion as of now among the government departments and agencies that promotes transformative solutions in this field. The broad policy framework for procurement has remained same for decades and there have been very little innovations in this field. So what is needed to promote the transformative solutions in public procurement in India? What we need are more than just the incremental improvements with a rapidly growing economy with 1.2 billion people. Transformative solutions are needed to promote resource efficient and low carbon technology led development. When moving out of poverty is a key priority, we must find a smart and innovative ICT based solutions in every field, for example, health, agriculture, governance, etc. That can help people get the services that they want 
without using a car. The entire ecosystem must become a smarter from teleworking, public transport to smarter cars. With rapid growth and urbanization, transformative solutions must be integrated with planning and development at every stage. ICTs can play a very important role in promoting transformative solutions. E-governance is a big priority in India, both at federal and state levels. And now the federal government has taken up mobile governance as a transformative initiative to make governance more resource efficient. I am leading this new national initiative on mobile governance in India. It aims at ensuring provision of all electronic government services through mobile devices. I am also leading a new national initiative in India on electronic authentication of all government to citizen and government to business services. This project aims at complete electronic authentication of all citizens and businesses when they conduct any transactions with the government. This would prevent the need for offline submission of any identity documents by traveling to a government office. Such ICT-based smart solutions can go a long way in transforming the current government processes. To help develop such smart solutions with public procurement is of key interest for India. Many of the solutions that we need can be developed in collaboration. There are great opportunities for Swedish companies to work in India and hopefully also for Indian companies to work in Sweden to help deliver transformative solutions together. I wish the workshop all success. Thank you.